Okay, so in this tutorial we go through how to um, install a PlayStation 3 controller to your PC and use that uh, for a media station or for different games like World of Warcraft. I get this question a lot, like, oh my god, you're using a PlayStation 3 controller to play uh, that game. And I figured it's about time to do a tutorial on how to actually uh, connect your PlayStation 3 controller because it's rather simple, but if you haven't done it before then it can probably be a bit tricky. But yeah, first of course you need a computer and you need a USB cable uh, that fits your PlayStation 3 controller, preferably the ones that came with the PlayStation 3, if you didn't just buy it in the store, uh, the controller itself I mean. Uh, then you need a PlayStation 3 controller, and this also works with an Xbox controller, but I don't have that, so I can't really check. <laughs> but it should work. But uh, you need a USB cable, computer, PlayStation 3 controller, and a couple of programs. And the first program is Motion Enjoy. You can get it at motionenjoy.com slash download. Or you just go to motionenjoy.com and push downloads. And here you get a few download options. Just take the newest stable release. This says testing so that's probably not stable while this one is probably very stable. So pick your choice there whatever you want. It's free. You can choose to donate through PayPal if you like it. The other program you will need to get uh, for this tutorial at least. I'm not sure if there are more but uh, this is a really great program and it's worth uh, all the not all, it's not really much, it costs 10 dollars and just push the download button and go through the, um, the instructions there and you will have it in no time. It's worth 10 US dollars if you want to use a PlayStation 3 controller. And uh, there is one more thing here at xpadder.com by the way. We are at xpadder.com. Uh, we go to the forum, there is a link here down in the right corner, at least when I made this tutorial. And then at the bottom almost there is controller images and here we can uh, take PlayStation and official Sony DualShock and here you see a, a few purple images with controllers on and take one that you like, it doesn't matter which one, just pick one that you think looks good. I have already done so, I have one here as you can see. And when you got that we are ready to start. So. Um, Let's start with actually installing our controller and we do that in the DS3 tool which is what you got for installing Motion in Joy. And um, as you can see here there is nothing here right now. In Driver Manager however, let's go to Driver Manager. Sometimes it struggles a little bit. And I'm gonna connect my controller. And it should show up there, show up on... Uh, yeah, there it is as you can see. If you have more more things there, kind of different uh, Bluetooth and stuff like just disconnect and connect to see which one is uh, the controller. But this one is the controller and I'm taking load driver. I get this warning screen, Windows can't verify the publisher of this driver software but I don't care, I want this driver. So I'm installing it anyway. Um, so it should take a few seconds there, completed. Very easy. I'm going back to profiles and as you can see I got DualShock 3 6 axis via USB here. You can use Bluetooth. I'm not gonna go through that now though because Bluetooth Bluetooth struggled a bit for me. It kind of did stuff on its own. And uh, the gamepad isn't actually enabled right now. It's there but you can't use it. So we're going to push enable. And the quickest way to see if it is enabled is actually pushing the vibration testing. Not sure if you heard that, but uh, the vibration worked fine. In some cases you need to actually go here to properties and calibrate your, um, your gamepad. I'm not gonna do that because I rarely had to do that. Usually when your gamepad doesn't want to calibrate it's because of uh, four options. Let's do this again. I'm sorry I'm being too fast here. Uh, there are four options here. DX default PlayStation 3 is the one I use and in options under that 
at the bottom there are four. Front tilt, back tilt, left tilt and right, click, right tilt. These are the motion sensors, so you can actually use motion sensors for playing games, but it's very hard to set up, so I keep this at none. And since I did put them on none, I haven't really had any problems with calibration and stuff like that. But it can be a bit tricky. So, now our controller is installed, but we still need a program to map the buttons to be able to use it. And uh, that is what we got x padder for. And let's see here. This is how it looks, and it might like be oh my god, I paid 10 bucks for this, and uh, yeah, it's a bit confusing at first. But if you click here on the yellow field, you get um, a purple screen, a purple pinkish screen. We're gonna fill that with the uh, image that we downloaded. That is uh, a normal controller. You can see here that it showed up here now. Ah, let's just switch this around. A bit easier that way. So it's time to set the buttons, and that's actually most of the time very useful. If it have uh, connected properly, I will just have to click the button here and then click the buttons that I like to add. So X button, there we go, that's the X button. And I'm uh, not sure what that was, I accidentally clicked the button. That's the top right one. Let's delete this one. Not sure which one that was. Pushing down the left joypad. Uh, let's get this over with the right joypad. Uh, triangle. And square. I'm just pushing the buttons. It's as simple as that. Uh, circle. But I want to know which one it is. I don't want to push every one of them at once because then it's get confusing. Select button. Playstation home button. Start button, uh, left one, right one, and uh, right two, and that's the one I think we set with in this part here. Then we go to D-pad and enable the D-pad. It says push up, okay, push down, push left, push right. Very simple. Pushing, uh, mowing this here, and you can see it works fine. The sticks are a bit trickier to calibrate. Sometimes they don't get properly cal calibrated, so you might have to do this a few times. But push left, push up. Seems to work fine. Sometimes it kind of calibrates wrong. Let's do the same for the right one. Left, up. So as you can see to the right here that we are actually having a controller on the right side and this is uh, all that we need to set here. So now we got, uh, let's try this out. Seems to work fine and now we are to set the actual buttons and there are three buttons that is really important to set and I put them here most of the time. Shift, Control, and ALT. These in games when you play you will bind combinations with these buttons. The PlayStation controller have 17 buttons total and uh, you will bind those in combinations with uh, the buttons over and over again. So like uh, first you map in the game, you keybind all buttons normally then you do the same again with shift and the same again with control and the same again with alt and then you can do with shift and control, shift and alt, control and alt at the same time. You can do it over and over again and get a really big amount of, um, of keybinds. So uh, just click the buttons and you get the keyboard here what you want. I want the right mouse button here on, um, on the right one button. I like to have it there. And the left mouse button I like to have um, on the joypad. Which will also control the mouse. So I'm setting the mouse here. Mouse up, mouse left, mouse right, and mouse down. And now I should actually be able to control the mouse. Yes. 
now I am uh, doing this with a gamepad as you can see here I usually take one two three four and then the next time I, I bind I go with the shift one two three four control one two three four LT one two three four uh, let's put home on the home button and um, end on the start button and here I think I usually take square that's not important that looks a bit bad oh, that a little bit okay that's a little bit better it's not really important forward on this joystick will be V and then we got A D S and space is usually jump I like to have that on pushing down the movement uh, here I believe I usually have hmm, Q T Q hmm, I don't remember but it doesn't really matter as long as you bind them correctly in the game and then you will uh, in the game you will bind these buttons in the key mappings and then you push the, the joystick so it ends up as it should I should have a test here with my uh, other mappings on and these are the ones I use in uh, use in uh, World of Warcraft uh, EQ, F, T, no it was close and uh, now I can control my computer with my gamepad uh, and this is how I play World of Warcraft I also have a chat pad connected via Bluetooth so I get a kind of a small keyboard, I don't write on it, I use it for some additional buttons and inventory and stuff like that but this is very simple anyone can do this and uh, it's quite comfortable comfortable or how you say it playing with a gamepad so good luck thank you for watching and see you next time